so much. Taking a look back at stocks again, markets really soaring. We are again about five minutes away from Fed Chair Jerome Powell. He's going to be answering questions that could actually move the markets depending on what he says. Let's bring back in Danielle DiMartino Booth and welcome Capital Wealth Planning Chief Market Strategist Jeff Sott and Mahoney Asset Management President Ken Mahoney. Guys, it's great to have you join the conversation. And Ken, first to you, Powell said in the statement, whatever it takes, what do you want to hear from him when he starts to answer questions? I think along the same line. Look, we won't use the word bazooka. I, I just saw my online thesaurus. And can you use cannon? Is that okay to use? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, okay. The, I'll take oops. cannon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the facilities are really important because, look, we're all watching the stock market very closely, of course, today and throughout the time. But it's really about, you know, companies be able to go to market to be able to borrow. I mean, we heard from last, you know, last week we heard Delta say, we need $100 million a day. That's our burn rate. Again, we're trying to bring that down to $50 million. But without those facilities, those credit facilities, how else is Delta and some of these other, you know, stricken airlines going to be able to raise capital without that? So that's the part that we're talking about here. I know a lot of people think, you know, lowering rates to zero and, you know, flushing money into higher risk assets. But at the end of the day, it's really making sure the bond market works, these corporations be able to go there, to be able to borrow, to be able to conduct business. And it is for now. I mean, and that's why they took that unprecedented action back in March, because they saw uh, the liquidity, the, the health of the, of the market, the bond market in particular, treasuries kind of start to tighten up. And that was a bad thing, Jeff. At the same time, you know, Danielle brought this point up earlier. How long are they going to keep doing this type of buying? That's, that's the unknown. Well, our, our model's called the downturn in mid-January, and they call the upturn in mid-March, and they still say we're probably going up into mid-May, and then we're going to run into a rough patch uh, through the summer as the economic data comes in. Uh, but I disagree with my friend Gary, because I think what's going on in our neighborhood, people are, are restaurant-deprived. And I think when the restaurants reopen, I think you're going to see a big surge in economic act activity. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what the stock market's sniffing out, uh, at least into mid-May. Uh, again, when the, when the economic data starts coming out, it's going to look pretty bad. But mm -hmm. I think it's a uh, transitory thing. And I, I, I agree with the president. I think the third and fourth quarters of this year are going to look pretty good. Danielle, do you agree with that assessment? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I don't. You, you have to bear in mind that one in ten employees worldwide uh, was employed in the, in the travel and tourism sector. And while I do agree that there is definitely a, a pent up need to get out of the house, that there will be there will be people who return to restaurants. I, I think some of the spacing, social distancing uh, restrictions that are going to be in place are going to limit the upside potential of the economy and have it look more like a protracted U. And um, in, in, in addition. To that, we've already we know that 58 percent of small businesses have already pushed through with layoffs in the country, and it's going to take some time to get these people back on payrolls, mm -hmm. and it's going to take even more time to get the family going uh, to, to Orlando to go to Disney or 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 to <laughs> even even get on an airplane or, or to Billy Bob's in Fort Worth, Danielle, because I know you're going to want to go Bob's real and, soon. <laughs> I, I I knew the Texan was going to come out in you at some point. Yeah, you're yeah kidding absolutely. Me? Yeah, and, and, and Governor <laughs> Abbott saying, "Look, let's start to open up," and you're right about the pent-up demand, but, but Ken, going back to the issue of consumer behavior, he's going to be asked about that for sure from a reporter today. Right. Look, the stock market's done a V-shaped recovery. I don't think you know, the economy is going to do that. The economy is going to be different than the V-shaped stock market. I think it's going to be more of a W if you're sticking with letters, you know, capital W, because there's going to be fits and starts. You know, we're not going to be able, there's going to be so many dislocations. We've never done this before. You know, we're not going to go A, B, C. We're going to go A, then L, back to B. There's going to be some consumers really running out to the restaurants, as your other guests said. But there's going to be others going to stay back and say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm still not sure about this infection and where this goes. So I think there's going to be a lot of false starts. I hate to be like that, but I think and you know, the market's ahead of itself. At the end of the day, I think the economies has some fits and starts, something we've never been through before. And again, it's going to be really kind of unbalanced the way we look at it. Jeff, how much faith do you have that this virtual press conference with the chairman is going to go off as planned. I mean, I, I can't help but wonder if we're going to be looking at some technical difficulties. We've never seen this before. This is going to be something new. Yeah, I, I again, I, I think the economy rebound is going to be stronger uh, than Danielle, my friend Danielle. <laughs> um, and I, I think the stock market is ahead of itself, but I think it's going to trade higher into May, where I think you're going to get a, a intermediate-term trading top, and I think you're going to go into a rough patch over the summer. 
Mm. But then by the time you get to September, October, I think the market's going up, and I think we'll be somewhere between 3,400 and 3,600 by year end on the S&P 500. Uh, Danielle, I've got about 30 seconds, we think, until Jerome Powell takes to the virtual meeting Q&A. Uh, final thoughts? Um, no, look, as I said earlier, what I want to know from the Fed right now is what the Fed is going to do to, do to help the little guy. They've already helped the big guy. They've already helped the investor. They've already bailed out the speculator in the hedge fund. I want to know from Jay Powell what he's going to do for small business in America today. Yeah. And, and you know, obviously, another big piece of that is the PPP is connected to uh, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury. And I, I'm not smart enough to make that connection in, in five seconds, but <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the virtual Q&A. Fed Chairman Jay Powell.